In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get cheap hosting and domain for only $2 a month, which you can use for your WordPress website. My name is Reno and welcome to Living with Pixels. So in the last couple of months, I've done some research on some hosting companies to find out if there are cheaper options than the ones that everybody knows already. So as you guys know, I host uh, all of my websites on SiteGround and I'm very happy with them, but they are a little bit more expensive if you are a beginner and you just wanna start with something simple and cheap. So that's when I found Hostinger. And yes, I've read a lot of reviews now about them. Most of the people were very positive with them. They have very good uptimes, they have good support, they have a lot of options. So let's just get started. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna buy hosting and domain together. Then we will install WordPress on that domain so you can get started with WordPress. And as a bonus, I will also show you how to install your own professional domain email address. Okay, so the link of this page is living with pixels com slash links I will put that down in the description because this is the information that you need and then the first thing that you can do is click on this link because that will lead you to the WordPress page uh, because they offer hosting specifically for WordPress and as you guys know I do everything with WordPress and Elementor so if you're new to the channel uh, welcome so if you scroll down on this page you can see their packages uh, and you can see that they offer their WordPress starter kit for two 15 a month that is super cheap especially considering that that is for 100 websites so you can host different websites for this price i don't even understand how they make a profit of this but they do it anyway so what you also get is email accounts so like i said you can create your own professional email address which has your domain in it uh, let's just see all the features of this package uh, what's nice about this is that it's free ssl with some hosting providers you have to pay extra for that and that is that green lock that you can find over here which makes your website secure they also offer light speed cache which makes the website fast they say they offer woocommerce which i don't really understand because you can just install that on wordpress uh, this is super nice that your website will not go down a lot of times because it's almost always up they have 24 7 support that is pretty nice and you can create 100 subdomains which is pretty nice for this price actually it's super amazing uh, so if you have your website uh, my website is readintheboer.com for example you can create a subdomain where you can install a different wordpress version on so you can put your different portfolio items that you want to show to your clients on your subdomains without actually paying extra for a domain so that is what you can do with subdomains super nice so what we're going to do is we're just going to add this to the card and as you can see the price now is 215 so to make that two dollars uh, you have to go back to this page and then call Copy this little text that you can see over here so right click copy go to the shopping cart and then click over here so the text is actually pretty gray uh, you can't almost see it if you paste this live with pixels you click on the plus you will see that now the price is two dollars a month but but a few things first this is for 84 I'm sorry 48 months and that means four years so if you don't want to commit right now to four years, then you have to pay a little bit more because they will give you more discount the longer you commit to their service, of course. So this means that you will pay for four years today and that will only cost you $116. And what's even better is that you will get a free domain for the first year. With most hosting providers, you need to pay around $10 or $15 per year for your domain. And with Hostinger, they will give you the first year for free. So you need to type in your domain name over here. I want to build a web shop in one of my upcoming videos. So do something like this. Uh, the coolest webshop.com. Let's see if that's available. And yes, that's available. And as you can see, this will add nothing to the price, but then next year it will be $11 per year, which is with every hosting provider ever. But for the first year, you don't pay anything. And then your total will still be 116. But let's say that you don't want to commit for four years, which is understandable. Uh, then you can pick the 12 month plan. That's still super cheap. And then you only have to pay $50 right now for a domain and hosting for a whole year. But you have to check these prices over here. 
because these are the renewal prices. Again, the renewal prices are still really, really nice uh, compared to what I pay with my hosting provider, which is around $20 a month. So this is, this is super nice still. Uh, but if you pick the $2 a month package, you will only pay $3.50 per month as a renewal. So then after the four years, it will be this per month. Still super cheap. But if you don't want to commit, then 12 months is the best. That's what I'm going to do right now for this tutorial. Because I'm just going to use this domain for my tutorial. So I don't need it for four years. So then I only have to pay 50 right now. Okay, so let's check the options real quick before we're going to check out. So you can do a few extra things. First thing is daily backups for only $1 per month. So let's say that you have a blog and you want to make sure that you have a backup every day when you post something new. You can check this on. I'm not going to do that right now. Cloudflare protection will protect your website better and that is only $10 for a lifetime. That is something that I do recommend. And for this website, for me, it's not very important because this is just for a tutorial, but I do recommend it because $10 for a lifetime for an extra layer of security is actually what you want. Streamline your SEO. I don't recommend that if you have a WordPress website because there are a ton of options to optimize your website for SEO within WordPress. Uh, get first with priority supports. Yeah, so let's say that this is your first project and you are new to WordPress and hosting and all of that, then this might be nice because then if you want support, you will get a response much faster than most people. And their support is still pretty fast for what I've read. But if you wanna get first in line, then you need to check this. What I do gonna add to my bill is this hide personal information of my domain and that is mainly because i am a youtuber and i don't want people to find out about my personal info so i check this box so when you buy a domain and hosting you have to give the hosting company some personal info maybe your address maybe your phone number and if you don't want your phone number to be out there because there are sites where you can check the information about a domain so you can check information about the owner of a domain then you need to check this uh, so for me that's very important because i i am a youtuber but that's also maybe something that you want to check okay so right now my bill is only 56 dollars actually 57 uh, so let's just do that right now i'm gonna check out and then you can sign up or log into your account i'm gonna create an account real quick and what i even forgot to mention is that they offer a 30 day money back guarantee so if you're not sure yet you can just make the payment and if you're not happy with hosting her you can ask your money back within 30 days you can even pay with Bitcoin if you want to, as you can see right here, or you can just put it on your credit card. I'm just gonna put it on my credit cards. Okay, so now it's done. I am in my account, so you can click on start now. And here it already selects a domain that we have created. So I'm gonna click on select. And here you need to give that personal info that I talked about. Okay, so now I'm in the next step, which do you want to go to build a website, migrate a website, we want to build a new website, because here we can easily install WordPress. As you can see, the steps inside of hosting are super easy to do. So make sure that this is a different password than your hosting your account because this is the password that you're gonna to use to log into your WordPress website. So if you click on continue now, you can select one of the templates that they offer. But as you guys know, on my channel, there are a ton of videos on how to build your own websites. I almost never use a template because I design things myself. But if you want to, you can pick a template over here, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So let's finish the setup. This looks good. You can even change the location over here to something that is more near towards you. But I think this is automatic because I am in Europe right now. So I think um, that is automatic. Finish the setup. I actually really like all the animations that they, that they show here. Your website is ready. So we can go straight to the WordPress dashboard over here or to the control panel or we can visit the website. Uh, let's first go to WordPress. I'm gonna open that in a new tab. I'm gonna do that by holding command on my Mac or control on Windows and then clicking on the link and then the dashboard of WordPress will open. I'm also gonna do that for the control panel. So I have two links. So let's first go to the dashboard. So this is not the actual WordPress dashboard, but this is the dashboard within Hostinger for this WordPress website. So here you can set up your SSL. You can set up Cloudflare if you want to. And if you click on edit the website, 
then now we will be redirected to WordPress. So now we are inside of WordPress and as you can see, they have already installed a few things. Of course, you can delete them if you want to, like WP Forms, which actually is a pretty decent form plugin. Um, a Jetpack, which is a plugin by WordPress. But from here on, you can set up WordPress however you want. So let's go back to our uh, dashboard of hosting, so the main dashboard. And in here, this is kind of like their cPanel version. So if you know C panel from other hosting providers this is it so let's just create an email account right now so i'm going to click on email accounts and then if you scroll down here you can really easily create an email so for example i can create info at the coolest because this is my domain and i can put whatever i want in front of that email i can create a password in here they even have a generator for the password i'm gonna hide it right now for you and then you can click on create and then you can see that your email is done. So then you can click on email to actually go to your web email. And here is your web email. You can connect this web email, for example, to your Outlook or to your Mac mail by looking at the data over here. Because sometimes you will need IMAP and SMTP data for your email tool. So for example, with Macmail, you need to put those in and then you can use those email addresses in your Outlook or in your Macmail or even on your iPhone or on your Android. So those apps will ask for this information, which you can find here. So you have a lot of options here in the dashboard, but let's say that you're stuck. You can get to the help center over here. So if you click on this icon, uh, first you will be redirected to the page where they answer most of the common questions, of course, because maybe you have a basic question, you can find them over here. So if you click those open, how do I install WordPress? The basic stuff. But if you wanna contact them, you need to click on contact us, choose an option. You can put in your question over here and then click on submit. You can go back to home and then click on manage over here and then you will be redirected to the dashboard. So if you want faster support, you can go to the store over here and in the store, you will just get an overview of all the things that they offer. And here it is, priority support. You can get it for $2 a month if you really wanna get faster support. So that's all I wanted to show. If you guys want more tutorials on hosting, on how to get started, then please let me know. But now you know how to get started with WordPress. So now you have your WordPress dashboard. By the way, if you don't know how to log into WordPress, always go to your domain and then type in slash w wp-admin and there you can log in with the details that you have saved uh, somewhere hopefully on your computer so again this is one of the cheaper hosting companies out there actually the cheapest that i could find it looks very professional their, dash their dashboard is very very nice and also the reviews that i read are overall good so i don't see any problems so far but if i see any problems or i discover something then i will tell you about it i've heard that they had some security issues in the past but i also heard that they've worked hard to solve those issues and no company is perfect right so it's a very nice package what you get for the price so again if you want me to make more videos about hosting or maybe about how to create a subdomain maybe how to connect more domains to this same account because right now if you've bought it via this link you have a package where you can install multiple websites on that same hosting package so thank you for watching i hope that you liked this video if you did let me know by leaving a like and then i hope to see you in the next video.